Hi, it's me again. I'm Nafid. In this short video, I would like to show you how to create the cluster ClearPass, that is ClearPass version 6.12. And in here, two main steps we have how to configure the cluster and then how to configure the virtual IP addresses. Now, in ClearPass, what we have a system where each one of them uh, has two management, one management port configured and the optional port has been also configured we will we'll create a virtual IP for one being for the publisher the other one being for the subscriber let's have a look so that's clear pass uh, that will be made as a subscriber it has management port and has the optional data port simply what we can what we need to do we just say uh, make subscriber and then you provide the IP address of the publisher 10254.1.70 password is the usual password do not uh, back up existing database we don't want that and we will proceed so for the certificate you have to, you don't have to do much actually it's very simple all what you have to do is just enable and save the buff certificate whether that's self-signed certificate built-in certificate a public or private certificate it doesn't matter all what you have to do you add this will add it to the trusted list of this um, publisher and you're going to say save that might take nearly about five minutes or so make sure you don't close because you don't want to cause um, any issues obviously as a best practice before you do any publisher stuff, back up your database and make sure that you have it safe in safe place just in case things go wrong then you can always go back and restore your data but if you follow the procedure it should be fine now you can see the end result so the the cluster has been formed successfully no problem so we can now obviously now this is standby so this is read only if you refresh the page or probably you will be logged out you will see that a message says you are read only you can't okay so there we go limited access only full access from the policy manager which is the main one and we're going to see here also uh, this is the main one and that is the you can see two clear pass servers one being publisher which is this one the one we connected from and the other one is the subscriber it means that any policy any settings any addition deletion happens on this specific one now we can go again to clear pass uh, administration we will click on server manager we can see two things now these two clear pass they have two um, ports the the compulsory one the must have one which is the management interface and the data port as an option but I have configured both so now we can go to virtual IP settings and we can create virtual IP and define who is the primary node for that virtual IP let us say I'm going to create a virtual IP for the management port now And then the primary node would be our um, publisher and the the standby will be of course uh, for this would be the uh, management port and the secondary will be uh, the standby which is again on the management port so you would normally have this IP and we're going to say save that has been saved successfully I can have another IP that is mapping to so this is the virtual IP for the first part which is management interface I can have a second virtual IP and again we will make it the other way around the primary will be the standby or the subscriber on interface that is data port and the secondary will be the um, publisher for the same for the data port and we're going to say save now what we have we have two um, 
uh, two virtual IP addresses, each represent one uh, one port, one data port, one management port. If you try to add a third one, let us say I would like to add 10.254.1101 as a third uh, ID. And this say the primary in this case is the secondary, which is the publisher, is on management port, and the um, secondary node is the subscriber save. Now, what do we have here? We have the same management port that has two IP addresses. I can have another virtual IP, 192.168.1. One oh one again the same. We're going to say go same principle. The primary would be the uh, publisher with a data port, and so the secondary would be the um, primary would be subscriber here, and the secondary would be the publisher. So what do we have here? We have a case whereby we have four virtual IP addresses. I can have. So now we can see multiple virtual IP addresses. Obviously, that's for redundancy purposes. Normally, we wouldn't do this. We would no, normally have, if you have single management port, you might have two virtual IP and then distribute for redundancy purposes, different IP for different locations, different sites. Remember, ClearPass by itself will not do any load sharing, load balance. You kind of doing it in, in, in this way, if you like. And um, so you have all these um, IP addresses ready for you to be uh, to be used. In this lab, we have created a um, cluster. We showed you how to create a cluster. And also we showed you how to uh, configure the virtual IP addresses for all uh, two different interfaces. Um, and then it showed you that the publisher is the full access, read and write, and the subscriber is a read only. So I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in future videos. Thank you.